Good morning, everyone. It is some time. Where's my watch? Uh, it's just after 6 a.m. Uh, I'm in Thailand still uh, because I went to sleep here and then I woke up here. Uh, is there a view? This is. They're starting to develop a view outside uh, of my window, but I'm hungry. I gotta go get breakfast because I need to be ready at 7.30 to be picked up for work. Uh, so I'm gonna go get breakfast and uh, that might be an adventure in itself because I don't know where breakfast is. This is my fancy hallway. It's really neat. Elevator room, I guess. Uh, let's try down first. Let's try the lobby. I know there's also a rooftop place to eat, but we're gonna try the lobby first. Uh, I just want some eggs. I haven't eaten in like 16 hours because I read somewhere that if you fast for like 12 or 16 hours it will really help with like the the jet lag and getting your body back onto the schedule so I'm starved. There's so much food but you guys need to see one. Chocolate or chocolate? But you guys need to see this. Everything like looks amazing. There's bread, um, but then like a honeycomb. What? And then eggs, more eggs, waffles, pancakes, more eggs, a bunch of meats, and then my seat. I found something to eat, which I should explain soon why I can't eat anything. So I just filmed this clip and I realized it was far too rambly and far too long. So I'm going to try to shorten it as best as I can. Uh, first off, here's the view out of my window. Now that you can actually see a little bit of what's going on, it's still kind of misty and foggy because of the, the rain that's going on. But I mentioned, I think yesterday, I really don't know what I said yesterday because I was tired and delirious, but I think I mentioned that I can't eat a lot of the foods and I would explain it today. Uh, I have what you can consider a food allergy to sulfites. In reality, it's more like a chemical sensitivity, but that's all semantics. Essentially, if I eat it, I kind of get sick and it just kind of ends my day, so I avoid them. The problem is that it's like onions, garlic, vinegar, wine, uh, ginger, a whole bunch of stuff. There's fish, there's dried fruits. It's basically everything that's like a staple of like cuisine in Thailand and in Japan and kind of everywhere in Asia. So I know when people travel, they like to showcase all the different types of food they're eating, all the different types of things that they're adventuring and like trying weird, weird shaped creatures. And that's not gonna be me. It would be fun to, but I can't, or it would just end my day. And since I have to be here for work, I can't really afford to try something fun and then not be able to perform for my job. So I'm not gonna be doing food. I'm just gonna kind of uh, do my normal thing, which is like run around an adventure and look at different things. But when I don't showcase a lot of food and I'm not eating like the spiciest meals here, uh, that's why it's because I don't want to die. Uh, but it's seven o'clock. I gotta go get ready because I get picked up in half an hour and I will see you guys at some point. I don't know when, but I'll probably bring the camera with me just in case there is something neat to show. I just got back from a successful day of doing laser training and it was so chill. Uh, it was like chiller than any other laser training I've ever done. Uh, <laughs> they kept trying to bring me desserts that they made me because they wanted me to have the Thai experience and then they felt really bad at lunch when I also couldn't eat the food. Like I was telling you guys, would happen. Uh, so they gave me rice and they made an egg special and they're like, oh, here, try some coconut stuff that probably won't kill you. And I was like, oh, okay. Uh, and then they gave me, oh, where is it? They gave me a bag of bananas. Uh, so they just went and, <laughs> they went and bought me bananas and they're this, they're tiny. Look how tiny these are. Also the food establishment we went to is just like a shelter on the side of a road and there's a whole bunch of them just scattered around everywhere and there's no street lights and there's no 
like stop signs or anything. I don't know how traffic functions. It's all based on faith. Uh, like you just you just kind of go and hope for the best. It's oh, this is making me so scared. Also, while rushing through that last clip, I feel like I forgot to show you guys the view outside my window. So you can actually see stuff now that it's not raining anymore. Uh, it's just really, really hot outside. We're gonna go swim, but first off, this is the only immature joke aside from semen drink, uh, is the whore wang school, uh, because it's culturally insensitive to poke fun at coincidences that whore wang means something different in English than it does here, but semen drink is pretty funny. Oh man, the little temple that you can kind of see back there is under construction, but we made it to the swimming pool. Look how nice this little, like, oasis is in the middle of what feels like a wet desert, which is not a desert, it's just, it's just hot and sticky. This is one of the nicer pools I've been in. The temperature is perfect, uh, and it's not just because, like, it's a zillion degrees out. We're taking a break from swimming to check out this little koi pond. Uh, that there was a fish, there's another one in there. Uh, this is just like a nice peaceful area. If the shrine were not under construction, this would be the perfect place. There's my hotel. The Centara Grand uh, is crazy. It's crazy huge. Uh, it's like a five-star hotel, which I don't think I belong in. What's over here? I don't know, but I feel like I shouldn't... Ooh, boy. I feel like I shouldn't go over there, but... Like... This is just such a neat place. But, yeah, this place is... Like... I don't think I've ever had a hotel like this, but it's also smack dab in the middle of the city. Uh, which is really weird that it can be like so tranquil and peaceful, but if you listen hard enough, you hear like police whistles and like cars honking. It's it's a weird dynamic. But now it's back in the bag for you and back in the pool for me. I will see you guys when I'm a little more relaxed and refreshed and uh, the jet lag hasn't really hit me, uh, which is great. It is great news. Ooh, there's a Hot tub. Never mind, we're going to the hot tub. Dun, 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 dun. Well, this hot tub is <laughs> pretty disappointing. It's about the same temperature as the pool and not nearly as neat. Uh, so we're going to go jump back in the pool, or I am going to go jump back in the pool. You guys are going to see me when I'm done swimming. We are off to go look for the shopping mall to see if I can get some dinner. Uh, I think I saw a KFC or McDonald's, so one of those two American foods would be great. So we have parking spots and then like parking spots in front of parking spots and nothing about this makes sense uh, except for the fact that I'm defo getting to get run over. Can't even speak, but like double parked cars everywhere and it doesn't make sense, but it's designed to be that way. Oh, and we're at the mall. That's not a store that we have in America. Also, if you thought walking around in public with a camera was weird, try doing it where you speak a different language than everyone else, so it's just extra strange. We have the first Sizzler I've seen in probably five years next to a place called Pancake Cafe. I'm so confused about this mall. This one's just called Banana. Believe me, it's true. Now I know what you guys are thinking. My jokes are bad and I'm a Crocs. I don't have a clever pun for this one, but Mr. I is the funniest place I've seen. I need to put the camera away and actually go find food to eat, but I'm gonna leave you guys off on this one. It's called Oh My Cheese. This is the second Krispy Kreme I've seen in Thailand. Uh, I've seen like two in California. Well, I'm outside now. There's a lot of smells going on. There's this thing being built in the middle of the street. There's a giant princess of some sort holding what at first I thought was uh, Bitcoin, but I'm pretty sure it's the Thai bot. Uh, I think McDonald's is up here. I made it. Welcome back to my new series where 
I go to foreign countries and I just eat McDonald's. I'm pretty sure I had McDonald's in Canada. And then I just had it in Japan. And now I'm having it in Thailand. If only I'd done it in Italy. I might as well review it while I'm here. The fries are really mediocre. The nuggets... I mean, they're on par with nuggets anywhere. Pretty decent. But the fries are... Not American fries. Merry Christmas? Maybe? The best way to describe those fries are... At one point, they sat in a bag that also contained McDonald's fries, and they got like a little bit of the McDonald's taste. But then you got through that, and they were just they were bland and boring and sad. But the nuggets are good. Uh, I don't know where I'm going. This video is probably way too long of me just not doing anything today. Uh, so maybe let's find one more thing to look at, and then I'll call it a day. So I found an arcade that just has seats with PlayStation 2s playing some sort of FIFA game. Treasure, this one's for you. Oh, I hope I get it. I hope I get it. Do I want to waste another 20 bucks on this? In case you were worried, the answer was yes. 100% I'm going to get her a minion. <laughs> Such a ripoff. Yeah, it's rigged. No minion for you, Patricia. I'm sorry. sorry. I'm horrified. I... At the end of that last clip, I may have slapped someone who, like, snuck up behind me, so... Yeah, uh, it's probably time to leave the mall and probably time to leave this vlog off. I will see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully it's gonna be a little more interesting than it was today. Uh, probably about the same level of not doing a lot, but... I'll find something more interesting or more visually stunning to do. I'll see you guys then. I hope you guys semi-enjoyed today. Uh, yeah, take care. Goodbye.